as the governor of Embu faced the re impeachment motions in the last one year? No. Nakuru equally as a woman governor, right? Yes. It has a huge population of Mount Kenya diaspora, true or untrue? True. As that woman governor in Nakuru faced three impeachment motions in the last one year? No. Kole as a woman governor, true or false? True. The people of Kole are Bantus, just like the people of Mount Kenya, correct or incorrect? Correct. Has that woman governor faced three impeachment motions in the last one year? No. Oma Bay, which is a different cultural area, as a woman governor, correct or incorrect? Correct. Has she faced any impeachment motion in the last one year? No. As a matter of fact, Mary itself, as an elected woman MCA, correct or incorrect? Correct. To the best of your knowledge, has that woman MCA in Meru encountered any backlash from a toxic masculinity to wound her out of office? Several times. Have you adduced that evidence anywhere in your response? No, because it was, it was not part and parcel of my response. Meru as a woman representative, correct or incorrect? Correct. In fact, you yourself were a woman representative of Meru for a whole five years. Yes. Did anyone try to recall you because you are a woman? No. Good. Let's go to, you just told Mr. Speaker, a more common story in Meru. Tell me whether you know of this story, which is also very common in Meru, of a woman who would beat her husband, then scream, and because the society is socialized to think it is the man beating the woman, they, and she has locked the house, people think it is the man who was beating the woman, while the truth was the other way around. Have you ever heard of that story? No. Of course you've never heard of it. Mm -hmm. Because it's not convenient. <laughs> Let's agree, Governor Kawira. For argument's sake, for argument's sake, without conceding, let's agree the MCAs are indeed acting under the influence of external people. Would that mean your sisters never received the monies we allege? Pardon? If we, are, we, we temporarily agree for argument's sake that the reason the MCAs have impeached you all these times is because of toxic masculinity and evil motives and malice and whatnot, we want for argument's sake in my next series of questions to work on the assumption that that is true. If the MCAs are malicious, would that be an answer to why your sisters were receiving monies irregularly from the county? No. If the MCAs are intimidated or influenced, would that be an answer to the count on usurpation of statutory functions of the County Public Service Board? No. Indeed, Governor Kawira, the motivations of the MCAs, you will agree, are therefore irrelevant as long as there is evidence in support of the charge. 
there is no support in the church. That's for the Senate to decide.